Hello and welcome to this short little video on the non-parametric bootstrap for confidence intervals on the difference between two means, or difference between two medians, or the, in general, the difference between two population uh, parameters. So again, we'll load the data, the usual data. It's going to be the crime data set. And we might as well stick with the gross state product per capita in 2000. Here's what it looked like for the one sample confidence interval. The two sample is going to be very similar. Um, two sample is going to look like this. Notice what had to change. Here we were able to directly sample from the data. Here we had to partition the data into northeast and midwest parts. Here we sampled just from that one. Here we're sampling from each of them separately. Calculate the test statistic. Calculate the test statistic. We could have done this all in one line. It would have been a little bit more difficult to read, however. So again, this is stereotypical non-parametric bootstrap. You randomize your data, measure your statistic, and repeat it a lot of times. We're just adding in another layer here in the fact that we've got two samples and we have to sample from each of those two samples individually. And then the distribution of the statistic and the 95% confidence interval for that difference. There's the distribution of the test statistic. The 95% confidence interval is from 850 to 9650 or 51. And this is going to be x bar 1 minus x bar 2, uh, northeast minus midwest. Notice that 0 is not a part of this confidence interval. Therefore, we can conclude that the northeast has a higher GSP per capita in 2000 than does the midwest on average. In fact, we're 95% confident that the difference is somewhere between these two values. And again, confidence intervals are on the population values. Now if I want to do it instead of using the difference in the means, we could do difference in the medians. Watch how everything changes. And that's it. Here's the distribution of the medians. You'll notice that the means have a nice smooth bell-shaped distribution. Medians tend to be much more jagged. Here's the 95% confidence interval. We're 95% confident that the median medians differ in the population between these two values. This confidence interval does include zero, which means we cannot conclude that there is a significant difference. Let me repeat that. We cannot, conclu cannot conclude that there is a significant difference in the medians between the Northeast and the Midwest. Want to compare the standard deviations for some reason? I replace your C median, change it into a standard deviation. There's the distribution of the standard deviations. Notice nice, smooth, or technically the difference in the standard deviations. Here's a 95% confidence interval for the difference. Notice it does not include zero, therefore, we can conclude that the northeast distribution of GSP per capita is in 2000, it has a higher standard deviation on average than does, th th does that of the Midwest. Zero is not a part of this. Therefore, there is a significant difference that we were able to detect. Notice that that's it. Confidence intervals for differences in population parameters. You sample from each group, you resample from each group separately, calculate your test statistic, or in this case just the statistic, and then calculate the confidence interval. Here that confidence interval is on the mean of group 1 minus the mean of group 2. The mean GSP per capita in 2000 for northeast versus that for midwest. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care.